Today in The Sims 4, we're going to be building a dollhouse for a multi-generational family. I have a series on my channel where I build homes in this dollhouse style, all in different aesthetics. But I've never actually built one for an entire family. So we're going to be building here in San Sequoia. This is the world that comes with The Sims 4 growing together, so very fitting. And our dollhouse today is going to be intended for eight Sims. We'll have maybe some grandparents, some parents, an infant, toddler, child, and teen. So I'm starting off here just building out the base and the dollhouse style like I showed you guys is very open concept Obviously the main goal is to be able to see inside from the outside so I'm just gonna be tracing around the flooring that I just made and I always like to include a front door area So you don't have random sims just like coming in all the time So that's what this here is going to be We'll just put a door there for the visual not that we won't, we won't be using that one, but just picture it. <laughs> then around the edges, I'm gonna put a fence here for now. This is just one from base game. And I'm gonna raise it up on a foundation so you can see how like the door there would keep everyone else out. That is what we want. Okay, from there, I'm gonna come up and keep my grid on. I'm gonna take my flooring piece again and I'm gonna go around, but in a different shape than before. So with this flooring piece, I'm just gonna bring it over. This is gonna add dimension, make it look a little bit different. So I'm just gonna stick this on here for now and we can always come back and fix it later if we want. I was also thinking it could be really cute if we had a balcony so I'm gonna just section this part off. Again all around here will be a fence. I'll bring this back and I'm probably gonna build a room in the middle here. I like having these rooms as like bathrooms or even private bedrooms. So I'm gonna take the same fence that I used up here and I'm just gonna put that around but I'm gonna use a different one on the balcony. So I think I'm gonna use this Discover University one. So so far, we've got our two floors and I think I'm gonna go up and do one more. So again, just taking my flooring piece, maybe I'll extend it over this way a little bit and we can go this way with it as well. I'm gonna do a small room up top here, maybe again, a bathroom. I'm adding some walls here. Actually, I think here is where I might add some roofing. In general, for now, this is what our shell is looking like. <laughs> looking a little crazy. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> I'm going in with this half gabled roof piece and I'm just gonna make it really tiny. We're gonna bring it all the way in so it's only one tile. I'm gonna extend it to the end and we're just gonna adjust it down so it's sitting right on top of that room that I just made. I think I'm gonna take the same fence I used for the balcony and we're just gonna use that for the top part here. And I'm thinking for this top part, I'm gonna temporarily add some flooring. I'm gonna use that base game fence to go around it and I'm gonna use this item here from the desert line kit and I'm gonna make my own like overhang here. So I'm just placing these on top of the flooring that we just put. These ones are always so hard to space out but I'm trying to leave just like a little tiny gap in between and then we can go in between there and just delete the flooring that I put. Then we're gonna have a nice overhang like that. It's gonna leave a nice shadow down there and we can go in and put some trim around everything now if we want to. Why am I filming this like it's a tutorial? <laughs> don't know, but there you go. Another quick little thing that I thought might be cute, this mirror here from Growing Together, I really love the top of it. And if I size it up, the mirror goes away and then it kind of turns into like paneling of some kind. I originally wanted to come back here and like put this along the back and just kind of go along the back like this, but I feel like it's gonna look really cute from the front with those details up top there, but in the back, it's gonna just look a little strange and make my life a little bit more more complicated. <laughs> the dramatics. My whole life. So much more complicated. So I don't know. We might revisit that idea, but for now, I'm just gonna put that on the back burner. I think next I'm gonna figure out where my stairs are gonna go. So I'm just gonna bring this part out a little bit. And the front entry, I'm gonna have my stairs facing that way. We'll take that fence back and just put it on top like that. And then I think my stairs can probably go in that corner right there. So I'm gonna rotate them and we're gonna stick these right in there like that. And then I'm considering using a ladder. I think I'm gonna use this one here from high school years and we're just gonna put that maybe over to this area here. Oh, it's gonna be nice and planty. I'm gonna add some foundation paint here. Wallpaper for my base, I'm using this one here from Growing Together. And I'm thinking about trying out this new paneling here from the Book Nook kit. I really like this one. I think I'm gonna put it maybe on some of the rooms that I created. Maybe down in here, we could add it as well. And maybe for one more added wallpaper, we could use this brick here from high school years. 
colors. For a little bit of separation here, I'm adding these columns from Snowy Escape. And for flooring in the main areas, I think I'm gonna use this one here from Eco Lifestyle. But then for the front, I'm just gonna use like a base game stone, maybe this one, same as my balcony and just up top there. Okay, for windows and doors, I can finally delete my <laughs> little green makeshift door. And I have never used this door here from high school years, mainly because it looks like a school door, but I do think it's really beautiful. I'm gonna risk it today. <laughs> Today's the day we finally get to use this one. And for the main windows, I'm thinking maybe we go with cottage living. Like these ones here could be super cute. Combined with these singular ones, I love like putting these together sometimes. And actually these windows here from Laundry Day look really cute along the back. And we're not really gonna have a whole lot going on back there. So may as well take advantage of the opportunity. And I think that's gonna be it generally for the exterior, but I do wanna add before we start furnishing, maybe just a play area area for the kids. So I'm gonna go in with this white picket fence from Backyard Stuff and I'm just gonna carve out an area back here. Maybe we'll bring it around like this. And in there we could add a swing set, maybe some monkey bars. The tree house too could also be fitting and we are building in San Sequoia. So all the other kids here have one probably. I'm just gonna add a couple more trees around, do some landscaping. Okay, so with all the landscaping, this is what our dollhouse is looking like in the Sims for currently. I just added a pathway going around here. This is our kid play area. And I figured out where we're gonna put all of the family. So up top, we're gonna have a bathroom in here to the right. This is going to be where the teen and the child's bedroom is. The second level is going to be a parent bedroom. And out here is where we're gonna have the toddler and the infant. This way we can have the parents take care of the children. They're all in one spot. Down here, we're gonna have a bathroom. We're gonna have a kitchen and living room open concept right in the middle with dining. And then back here is where we're gonna put our grandparents so they don't have to go up the stairs or anything. So let's start off with the main level here. I kind of want to go with like a summery color scheme. Like I want to do some orange, maybe some yellow and some green. So I'm gonna try using an orange fridge. I'm debating using these green counters too. Normally my go-to would be like one of these ones, but I kind of want to try out something different with the base game one. Let's just see if it's too much, we can always change it. I love these counters, but I don't like the like lip they have on the back. So I always end up just shoving them <laughs> into the wall to get rid of that. We'll do a sink right here. I can do my oven over on this side. Oh, we could do the matching orange one here. This is definitely one of those trust the process situations, but I'm filling this up with clutter here. I feel like sunflowers would look really cute here. So I think I'm gonna add those maybe like on the counter. And because of these windows over here, we have a little extra space and I love putting plants in here. So I'm gonna try and squeeze it in. If we can't get it in there properly, I can always raise it up from the outside, but that seems like it's gonna work out in there. I'm adding this rug over here. I'm gonna start to try and like go around here. Our entry is right there. I'm thinking about making like a spot where you could put on your coat. I think Seasons actually has something like that. I was picturing something like this, but I have always said, I really don't like the swatches that come with Seasons. I find every time I wanna use an item, I just don't like the colors that they picked. I don't know. Oh, we do have this one here though from Laundry Day. That could be cute. We could add some shoe clutter in there. I can get some backpacks since we have kids here. I could also maybe put the toy box in there. I'm gonna use one of these backpacks here, but I also love this one here from Growing Together. So I'm just gonna squeeze that in there, pull it together with a mirror there at the front. So there we go for the front area. And over here, I had this awkward space, which I'm gonna turn into a closet. So we're just gonna use something we can hang some clothes on, like maybe this here from high school year. We'll hang up something that looks like coats, some more shoe clutter in here, and maybe we'll just put up a mirror just in case. Okay, there is the closet. I want to do the dining room somewhere close. So we're gonna have to get a big table. I love this one here from Base Game. It's so simple. And then when we use a simple table, we can go in and do a funkier chair. So like, oh, we could potentially use these ones here from Growing Together. And I was considering doing like two of them in a different color. We're of course gonna need a high chair, so I'm gonna put that there. Maybe I'll put another one over here just in case, but at the actual table, we'll do just another chair. That way when the toddler grows up, they'll have their own chair, but as they're still a toddler, they'll have the high chair. Just covering all the bases. I'm gonna use this rug here from Strangerville. So there we go. And then in the back here, this is where I could maybe put a skill item. I was thinking an easel or even a chess table could be nice back here, like this one. And I can put the matching outdoor retreat chairs right there. I think I'm gonna use this here from Eco Lifestyle and make a hanging 
vine wall. So just putting these together and then I'm gonna raise them up and stack them. I really wish we got different wall heights for these. And I still need a trash can, which I think I'm just gonna put over here in this corner. So, so far, this is what we've got going on. We've got our kitchen, we've got a skill item back there, dining room, and my living room is going to be right here. I think for my couch, I might use this one here from Cottage Living. Although that one there from Growing Together could also be really cute. Maybe we'll use that. I like the blanket hanging on the back. I think I'm gonna use that there also from Growing Together as my TV table. And then on top of there, I need a small TV. I have this thing, which I kind of like on the outside. So let's maybe add this here and hope that it fits. We'll just raise this up just a little. There. Do I want a coffee table here? I might leave this open in case the kids want to play here. I think I'm just gonna put a rug here from the industrial loft kit. Maybe with a rocking chair like that from Growing Together. I'm gonna put an end table over here. Maybe with something from the book nook kit like that. And then somewhere around here, I just want to put a toy box. Maybe we can put that beside the high chair. We could put a couple more toys just on this table here. And that is going to be our main area. We've got the living room, kitchen, and dining all complete. Let's move on from here into our first bedroom, which is going to be for the grandparents. I added this carpet here from the pastel pop kit. I don't know if I want to keep it. Maybe the green could be nice. Let's see. Let's find them a bed. I'm thinking about using this one here from Growing Together for them. This is a really interesting color combination. Maybe if I changed my wallpaper and my lighting, it could maybe end up looking good. It's not really giving off elder though. Maybe they're just really cool elders. I added this clock here from Strangerville, which actually moves in live mode. It's really cool. I'm getting the vibe that these elders have traveled a lot. So maybe we could go off of that. I could put this mirror here from the basement kit with maybe a plant near the bed. We're using this table over so we have enough room for them to get in. I'm gonna add a rocking chair in here also from Growing Together. Maybe I can put a knitting basket in here too. And I still need a dresser, so maybe I'll actually move the rocking chair over here. And I can probably use this dresser here from Tiny Living. I'm gonna put up a clock there. The old phone on here could be fun with a plant right there. And there we go. We've got our elder bedroom. Interesting vibe going on in here. Maybe they're collectors, travelers. I put up some extra pictures up there from growing together. We've got our rocking chair with the skill item in here and just some random clutter on the dresser. <laughs> we have one more room to finish on this floor before we go upstairs, which is the bathroom. I think I want to use this here from Growing Together. We've got the shower and the bathtub combined there, so we'll add that. It's gonna be a little squishy in here, so we're not gonna have a whole lot of room for like decor. So I can do my toilet there and for my sink, I think I'm gonna just use maybe this one here from Growing Together. We'll do some green towels here near the sink and we maybe have room for like one picture up top. Like I can maybe do this one here from Base Game. Maybe with these curtains here over top of the window. And okay, there we go. This bathroom is a little bit squishy, but we've got it here. We've got everything we need in there, including the bathtub and the shower. And now we're ready to go upstairs from this floor. So the next floor is going to be where we're gonna have the toddler and the infant and the parents. I'm actually considering adding another bathroom here too. Just because we've got eight Sims, it's gonna be a lot happening. So I'm just gonna add that in here. We can add a window to the side there. And for my door, we can just put it right there. I also just grabbed some rugs that I thought could look cute in this house. So maybe one of them can go upstairs. Okay, first we need to figure out the toddler area. So I think that's gonna be right here. I can maybe put the owl statue near the bed. We can do a nightlight by the bed too. Ooh, maybe the tree could look good on that wall. There's a bunch of different swatches. Maybe we do that one with the owls there. And I need something in that corner. So I think I might just put a giraffe. <laughs> okay, so there's that so far. I think I could probably put either a toy or a chair right here. I was thinking about putting this guy. And right in the middle here is where we can have another play area. So I think I want to put maybe another toy box here. We could add a dollhouse and I'm just making sure. Yeah, okay. So toddlers, children, and infants can all be supported by the dollhouse. I'm also just adding some pillows here. This cloud light could match somewhere. And then over here, I want to do the infant stuff. So I'm just keeping a bassinet for like the newborn stage. And then right beside that, we could put a crib. I've added those curtains there from high school years and I was thinking about putting this like right over top of the crib for like a little bit of privacy, but also how cute is that? Then we could maybe put one of the growing together, what is this called? Mobiles <laughs> on top. And maybe in here I could add some of the baby shoes. Oh, and this bookshelf here from Base Game. Near there, we're also going to be putting a change table. I'm just gonna stick that one there with the garbage right beside it. Okay, so we have our toddler slash infant room. We've got our toddler spot over here. And in the back, we have our adorable infant room.
awesome. I also added a dresser here with the teddy bear on top. This is what it's looking like from the outside right now. And I think next we're gonna move into the parent bedroom. I am gonna change the flooring in here, maybe to this shade of eco lifestyle wood. I'm gonna keep with the color scheme by using that bed and this rug here from Growing Together. I think this here from Dream Home Decorator would match quite nicely. Ooh, maybe with this table here from Paranormal. I'm gonna give them these planty curtains. And I think I'm gonna also put a shelf under the window so there's gonna be like a windowsill moment. And on there, we could put these little plants from the greenhouse kit. I'm gonna use this book nook kit chair. I forgot about these. I think these look so cozy. I'm also gonna give them, I think a TV in their bedroom. I feel like this could also look good under there from the desert Lux kit. I added a lamp there from the book nook kit and I still need a dresser. I think I'm gonna use this one here from growing together. Okay, so here is our parent bedroom. I love the color scheme in here. It's very soft and pretty yet still cozy. Cozy. And I like that they're right here if we need to take care of the toddler or the infant. They're not far at all. So that's gonna be our parent bedroom. We still have a bathroom to take care of here. So let's move across the hall and get this one out of the way. I think for this one, I might put a bathtub in there. Just to keep it easy, you can wash the babies in there. I really wanna put a potty, specifically this one, because I love the heart on there. Let's see if I can fit it next to my toilet. I think we should be okay. Then we can get a mirror up in here. We can do some bathroom kit clutter in here maybe some towels on like this wall. And there is our second bathroom. I'm loving the color scheme we did today. It's so bright and summery. And with that, we are ready to go up to the final floor, which is going to be our teen and child floor. This one has the biggest bathroom too. So I think I'm gonna just do that. I didn't really do this on purpose, but they can have the big bathtub, I guess. We'll give them this one here from Get Famous. I really wanna give them two sinks in here too. So they could like get ready beside each other. Assuming that they like get along, they can get ready beside each other. I grew up in a household of three women, my mom, my sister, and me, and sometimes getting ready in our one tiny bathroom we had in my house was really not ideal. But you know what? I am optimistic for these two. Actually, this rug here from Cats and Dogs could be cute. I wanna put this makeup kit. I'm just gonna put that on the floor for a sec. There, I've got these from the bathroom kit and on top of there, we can put our makeup clutter. I still need to add a toilet. So my toilet is gonna go over here. And actually it could be helpful to have a shower in here too, just in case we're looking to do like a quick shower, get in there, get ready for school, get out. And I'm just filling the rest of it up with more clutter because I'm literally just picturing my childhood right now. Okay, here we are, the child and teen shared bathroom. I added some extra like laundry clutter over there, folded kind of messily. So much clutter going on on the bathroom counters, the open makeup over there. This side over here isn't too bad. We've just got the shower, the bathtub. I added like the shower caddy thing in there. And with that, we're ready to do the teen and child bedroom. Okay, so I was thinking about doing a divider in between these two, which could literally be something so simple as this bookshelf. I'm just gonna have to adjust the window here, but I like how this one divides it. I like the flowers on the side. I've really been wanting to use these pictures here from the book nook kit. So I think I'm gonna try and use maybe one over there and one there like that. I'm assuming that maybe this is the teen side here. So I'm just gonna add like one of these. This is from Discover University. It's got some like pictures on there, a calendar. Maybe we can put an ottoman like at the end of the bed. I'm gonna add in a couple more skill items up here. Like we could do an easel right there. I've added some canvases from Eco Lifestyle. Maybe we could put some instruments too, like maybe a guitar right here. I also really need room for them to do their homework. So maybe we could actually move this over. The only place for them to get up this ladder is over here to this side. So we can put stuff right there and then we can fit a desk over here in this corner. I feel like me and my sister totally would have fought over the computer here. So I think I am going to put another laptop down on the main level at the dining room table. We probably fought about it because I was downstairs playing The Sims for my entire childhood. Now I'm still doing it as an adult. Okay, we've got my computer area there. I think I could put a bookshelf on this wall. I'm gonna try one of the new ones here. And actually, I wonder if I could wrap that around. Like, could I wrap that this way? I feel like that looks kind of cool. As long as it doesn't interfere with anyone coming up the ladder, we're good. We'll just move it up a little just in case. Okay, I've put a mirror under there and I think the final thing I'm gonna do is just make a seating area right here. So I'm gonna use that rug there from the laundry stuff pack with a couple of beanbag chairs here. And I'm just gonna add this tiny table, which actually works so well there as a 
coffee table. Okay, so this is gonna be our teen and child shared bedroom floor. I actually really like how this turned out. We've got the beds over there. We've got a few skill items, the computer for their homework, and I added the defender light back there. I also added some more clutter up on these shelves here. So we've got some more toys. We've got some like jewelry and board game clutter, some more board games right here. And I also added another dollhouse just as something else for the kid to do. There's something extra out here on the balcony. I just added a gardening pot. Maybe I could do like one more in this corner here too. But this is our multi-generational dollhouse build in The Sims 4. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I love how it looks from the outside. Here it is in different lighting as well. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.